and welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look and see whether your romantic energy here, your special person, the one whom you've parted with, the one whom you went separate ways with, whether this person is going to come back into your life. So if there is a disconnection between the two of you, whether an emotional or like um, at a distance, we want to see whether this person is going to come back into your life and whether you might get a second chance with them, okay? This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out. I will list my email just below the video here where the show more section is. So this reading here is intended for all, I don't know if I said it at the start of the video, but it is intended for all Earth energies. So that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. All Earth energies, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. And of course, to those of you cross-watching as well. So we'll give the cards a shuffle here. And we want to see whether your special person is going to be coming back. Okay, you have the Lovers card here. So strong romantic energy here with the Lovers card. The Knight of Swords. Okay. Judgment, the Queen of Swords, the Three of Wands here. And lastly, the Knight of Wands. Okay, you got both of the Knights, which are both the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands are a very, like, they're a very fast charging kind of energy, okay? Both are in mid-action, in mid-air, both are, like, charging. So, will this person come back into your life? I see them coming back, okay? I probably even see them coming back a lot quicker than you anticipate. I definitely feel like you will cross paths with this person. Because for a lot of you, he, um, you've been dealing with someone who I feel like has, was it, this person was or maybe still is a bit of a fleeting energy so maybe this person is someone who kept fluctuating in and out of your life they feel like they have a really restless energy very unsettled which accounts for them leaving very quickly and i feel like in the future this person will come back into your life almost unexpectedly almost out of the blue for a lot of you it is going to be a case of just when you you know, just when you found a way to get over them and to move on from them, all of a sudden they decide to complicate things for you and come back into the picture here. So I do see a person coming back. I do see that this is someone, and for a lot of you, you've been dealing with someone who, this person was like a ghoster or a vanisher, okay? Or if they haven't, for a lot of you, 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 were, you were, sorry, dealing with someone who's disappeared very quickly because I get a very quick... Um, sudden energy around them very quick sudden movement for some of you maybe this person didn't disappear as abruptly but they did quite they distanced themselves until they pulled away completely okay so this is why I feel like you guys never really ended things I just I see no clear definite ending around this connection I feel like this person ghosted you they vanished or they slowly pulled away and it's like you didn't necessarily reach out to them and you didn't necessarily, uh, you know, question their distance or their disappearance. And they didn't necessarily explain themselves to you as well. So things were kind of left in the open. And this is what I feel like for a lot of you, this is why I feel like this individual is going to, is going to come back into the picture. Purely because I feel like there is, things never really ended. So there was never really closure. There was never really an ending. And it was just very ambiguous. It was um, left very like an open-ended um scenario so this person comes back into the picture here maybe to finish what they started maybe because they have unfinished business maybe because the two of you were robbed of the chance to get to know one another the lovers card tells me either the two of you were or still are in love with each other this is a strong notion of romance of love but for some of you this might not necessarily indicate love but it does indicate a strong sense of infatuation so you guys are really infatuated with one another okay you're really into one another and i feel like with the lovers card notice how the angel is sort of orchestrating this connection the two of you crossing paths again i feel like there, you know fates at play here but here's the thing um earth energies just because they come back into the picture doesn't necessarily mean that the two of you will reconnect and you'll ride off into the sunset disney-esque style for a lot of you it doesn't necessarily 
mean that for some of you and i feel like it's a small handful of you i feel like them reconnecting with you might give you an opportunity to to give this connection a second go and to do things all over again but the judgment card that's made its appearance here tells us that you need to judge the situation wisely because earlier on i feel like a lot of you maybe misjudged your feelings or you maybe misjudged their reaction or you mis misjudge something about your situation so with the person coming back into your pic into the picture here make sure there's you know you're not romanticizing the situation and make sure you're seeing it for what it is so if this person did ghost you and they did vanish don't try and romanticize it hold them accountable for it hold yourself accountable as well so for a lot of you you know and by doing that especially by embodying the queen of swords energy because she is someone who seeks the truth and matter in all things and and she places a lot of value on truth and honesty so if this person does come back into the picture i feel like you really need open and honest and clear communication they need to communicate things very openly with you because i feel like in the past i can see you have different communication styles so i can see how that can be difficult but you need to find a way because compromise the lover's cut speaks of compromise and sacrifices you need to find a way to meet each other in the middle because your communication styles or your elements are just very different and sometimes you guys clash and sometimes you guys oppose each other and sometimes you're two very different people maybe wanting the same thing maybe not so the, i guess that there's quite a difference in your energies here but if you can find a way to sort of work together cooperate together i do feel like there is potential in this connection so yes i do see this person coming back because of this you know the knight of swords energy and the knight of wands and notice how sorry yeah the knight of swords and notice how they're coming you know they're heading this way rather than that way so this is someone who i do feel like has this person has a very restless energy about them and I feel like they left the picture very quickly. I also feel like they didn't necessarily do themselves, they did themselves a disservice because I feel like when it comes to their emotions, they're coming up as emotionally scattered. So to me, I feel like this person doesn't necessarily know what they want. So when they do come back into the picture the second time around, I feel like it's very important for them to have a lot more clarity, both emotional and both mental, because if not, I see the past playing out itself. So the lovers definitely speaks of a strong romantic energy. It also tells us that there will need to be some sacrifices. For those of you that are willing to give this connection a second go and wanting you know, to work through this, I'm getting that you, whether it's you or their energy, someone here, or perhaps the both of you better yet, you'll have to make sacrifices in order to make this connection work. So I just want to say also that I see that when this person does come back, it feels like they've got a very charged up energy around them. It's almost like they've got something to get off their chest or it's almost like there's an urgency around their energy. I don't know what this means because for some of you, it's like this person feels like they're bitter or they're brooding. So be careful because it's almost like they're in this energy where it almost feels like they've got a personal vendetta here. Or it's, it's almost like they're keen to pick a fight or they're keen to say something that they know might get under your skin. So don't feed into that. Okay, because it's like a, a very charged up energy. It's almost like a bitter brooding kind of energy. Um, as I've mentioned, some you are dealing with someone who may be prone to temper tantrums, emotional outbursts. So this person comes back into the picture and I feel like it's going to be very important to watch how the two of you could, you know, communicate with one another. Because um, I feel like that there's a lot of outbursts here. It's almost like they're, they're either they're quite passionate here or they're just very, they're angered by something. Could be jealousy as well because it feels like it's animalistic instincts. So jealousy, anger, you know, passion here. So I feel like this person is really charged up. And again, I'm seeing a sense of urgency. Maybe this person feels like, you know, they have to, there's something urgent, they, something urgent within their energy, within their movement here. So it's almost like they're doing the chasing though. They're doing the chasing. And I feel like there's definitely going to be a shift in your energies here. Or there is a shift in your energies. Because whereas before, this, I feel like you were doing maybe a little bit of the chasing and they were doing some of the running. And now it's like the shoe's on the other foot and the table has turned. And now it's like this person is doing some of the running uh, so, sorry, some of the chasing, and you're going to be doing some of the running here. And it's like, yeah, to me, it's like the chaser, 
the runner becomes the chaser here. So a bit of a um, role reversal here, guys. Yeah, with judgment here, I feel like you guys have to, I mean, the card has made an appearance here because I'm seeing that a lot of you need to, you know, you, you need to judge the situation for what it is rather than what you want it to be. Okay, and just make sure that your judgment isn't being veiled or clouded by your emotions. Make sure, you know, you're, you're, you're very logical and you're very perceptive in your judgment rather than emotional here. Especially with the Queen of Swords that's come up here. Because she is, of course, air energy. She's governed by mental energy. And, you know, she um, likes to take a head-over-heart approach. The Three of Wands tells me that for some of you... I feel like there's two different interpretations. For some of you, you will have a chance to move forward with this person. So whatever clashes, whatever differences you've, ha you've had in the past, I feel like there may be an opportunity to reconcile those differences. And the Three of Wands is a very positive card because it's a card of growth. It's a card of expansion. It's looking ahead, you know, and notice the imagery. There's a lot of yellow, a lot of optimism. And notice how there's absolutely no obstacles in the, in the, um, in the foreground here or in the background. Um, so this is, I'm seeing that there's clarity and I feel like for a lot of you, you will get the opportunity to move forward with this person. For some of you, though, what I'm seeing is although the opportunity will be presented to you, you're not entirely enticed by it. Because notice how the figure here, he steps, he stands on the edge of the precipice. The ball is going to be in your court. It's going to be in your corner. And like I've mentioned, for some of you, I feel like you've just, you've moved on from this person, okay? Maybe you will always love them and maybe you will always have a soft spot, uh, soft spot in your heart, like a soft spot for them. And maybe you'll always have a place in your heart for them. But it's almost like you feel as though... Because for some of you, I feel like I'm seeing it's like either the two of you are going to be either it, there's like an issue of geography and the two of you are in different countries or you moved to a different city or state or you're trying to pursue travel or you're trying to pursue career and somehow you feel like getting into a relationship, getting involved with someone right now might be a bit of a setback, might present you know a, a bit of a challenge here. So some of you, I feel like you're going to decline the offer. You're going to decline the offer. I don't see you necessarily going ahead with it. And you're on the edge of the precipice because I feel like for some of you, you are going to, as I've mentioned, you are going to leap forward with this person. For others of you, I feel like you are leaping forward, but you're leaping forward without this person. Because for a lot of you, you feel as though you've given this person one too many times. And here's the thing. A lot of you actually, you know, you want this person to come back. You actually want a reconnection. But by the time the two of you do re reconnect, which I did mention is going to be faster, or something here feels very rushed. So it's either going to happen sooner than you anticipate, it, you know, it, it, it's sooner than you think, sooner than you realize, or I feel like this person just wants to rush through the connection. It's almost like they, you know, realize that they've missed an opportunity with you and they re realize that they've missed a good thing here. This is why I feel like they've got this charged up energy here. But by the time, you know, they come around to that realization, a lot of you, from what I see, will be long, you'll either be long gone and you, you would be like uh, at a place where you feel like you no longer want to, you know, reconnect. And like I've, and like I've mentioned, I feel like the two of you will always have, you know, um, a special bond or you've created a very special connection and you will always have, you know, that with them. But... It's okay to love someone and not necessarily have them, you know, play a very active role in your life. It's okay to be able to let, love them and let them go. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. If you are interested in a personal tarot reading, if you would like for me to follow on from this or perhaps a general one, please feel free to reach out. As I've mentioned, my email will be listed below. I want to thank you guys for your time and attention. Bye for now.